at least I'll do some for you. But I gotta say, I've already done colonoscopy prep once before and it didn't get rid of fucking anything except my will to live. I could have sat on all those bottles of pig light and filled them all up, put the caps back on, and no one would even have known someone drank it. And I can't talk about it on here because I think TikTok will bet it. But the amount of uh, things that are going in is uh, few and far between. For example, last Sunday I had a CT with contrast, drank three liters of water for it on a very, very, very empty body and uh yeah dropped three liters off all sunday all monday so there was no nothing going in during that time either because that was a bad time so then i had soup and a piece of toast on on tuesday which all evacuated on wednesday and today on thursday we're back to we're back to zero and i don't know if any other people's bowels just feel like this but when there's nothing in there i know Cause if there was, it would fucking hurt. It would hurt exactly where it was stuck. But now I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get through. And I don't know what I wanna do. Cause I would like to, you know, not shit for a while to mentally prepare for that. Like I need recovery from today and yesterday. I promise 3,500 billion percent the doctor is going to say there's not a lick of anything in me. So we'll see what the doctor says, but wouldn't be surprised if I get an award for the rawest, most evacuated fucking insides. Wow, Jazz, you actually have fourth degree burns on here from all the acid ripping through ya. Yeah. He's gonna be like, the wall of your colon has teeth and it was biting the camera. And I can't even really articulate or emphasize this enough. Um, more things come out of me than go into me. Uh, however that works, I don't know. I keep thinking, where the fuck does that come from? But fine, fine. Y'all are freaking out. Don't worry, you'll see, you'll see.